Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. Today I'm doing an energy shift reading. Uh, today is January 11th, the day that I'm filming, 111. Yesterday was the eclipse in Cancer, almost a Capricorn. New moon in Capricorn was like end of December. Anyway, and tomorrow's January 12th. Tomorrow's a really big conjunction day. Saturn and Pluto will be exact uh, conjunct with each other in Capricorn. And then we have Jupiter also in Capricorn, but it's in the other direction of degrees i think jupiter and capricorn is at like eight degrees so it's at the other side it's early degrees well excuse me saturn and pluto are late degrees okay really big day for manifestations also a big day for a lot of change to start occurring it's just the energy of it doesn't mean the world's going to change tomorrow it just means that the energy for a lot of things to change foundationally on an individual level and societal societal level will be at play Again, really great day to manifest. Um, and I talked about it in the full moon video that I did a couple days ago. So check that video out if you want more information on that, okay? So that being said, I figured today was a really good day to do an energy shift reading. I'll be using the shaman deck. So before we get started, I wanna talk about what I picked up on when I was meditating before I started recording. So before I started recording, I heard keep your heads down. It's like, ooh, <laughs> I know it's a little, it feels a little intense, doesn't it? Uh, during this energy, a lot of us have been going through some shit. A lot of us have felt the pressure cooker of all this Capricorn energy, the pressure to reevaluate ourselves. Um, we've all had some emotional shit come up, whether it's stuff that's like really deeply embedded from our past or just stuff that we've been ignoring or not really dealing with on a superficial level or a deep level, like I said. Everyone's been kind of feeling this in some aspect or in some way. Some of us have been rolling with the punches, just trying to deal with it day by day, go with the flow. Other people have been resisting it, okay? Um, some people who've been resisting it or lower vibrational energies, when I say energies, I, I also are referring to people who have been resisting this or flat out ignoring it have actually been lashing out, okay? And that's not going to change. <laughs> that's not going to slow down. And those of you who have been kind of rolling with this energy, you might feel targeted by these energies or these people. You might feel like they have their eyes on you or you might feel actually attacked or picked on, again, targeted, bullied, what have you. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're experiencing that. That's because they're resisting the pressure cooker of Capricorn while you're rolling with the punches, okay? Don't let it distract you. It is what it is. As long as you focus on you, you'll be fine, okay? <laughs> Eyes on your own paper, stay in your lane. Don't let other people and their hate distract you just because they don't want to deal with their own shit, all right? But let's go ahead and pull some cards, see what we can get for you guys. Also, some of you might have been experiencing a quick transition from a lot of heart chakra stuff to crown chakra to go from like heavy chest, emotional purging, heart palpitations, or feeling like you're sick to all of a sudden um, having headaches or dizziness or just feeling like, like surges of energy coming through your skull. Uh, that's basically, I, I feel like that only came on with this transit of energy that we've been experiencing. I know I've experienced it a little bit. Some of you might need a little bit of catching up. Like once you get through the actual purging, you're gonna be amazed at how quickly your crown chakra is gonna take over as far as um, transmuting energy, okay? So just be prepared for that if you haven't experienced that yet. Any messages for the collective regarding this energy shift? Any messages or anything the collective needs to be aware of regarding this energy shift? Mm. Yeah, I feel like I feel like energetically the collective's like getting squeezed right now by Capricorn energy. It feels really intense. And like the more I'm getting in this energy, it's actually affecting my neck a little bit. Uh, but I'm just, I'm taking on collective energy. That's all. That's all that is. Ow. <laughs> like my neck all of a sudden got stiff. Any messages or anything we need to be aware of regarding this energy shift? I'm going to do one more. Okay. Any messages for the collective? Hmm. Any messages for the collective regarding this energy shift or anything we should be aware of? Pine trees? <laughs> Sometimes they give me channelings. I'm just like, Okay, <laughs> pine trees. I'm hearing pine trees. Pine trees. Spend time in nature if you can to stay grounded. I mean, I've been talking about that for a while now with this kind of crazy energy. Anytime you're experiencing crazy energy or you're stressed out, just go outside. Go outside and be in nature to get grounded. But they're saying pine trees. 
Okay. Woo. Wow. So we have Beauty Way and the Earth Keeper. Earth Keepers come out a couple times for some of my um uh some for some of my monthly readings on Patreon for any of my patrons that are watching. Earth Keeper is actually a planetary guardian card here, okay? Some of you are coming through your rite of passage into that, into your mission as a planetary guardian. Guy is yelling right now, is what I'm hearing too. Guy is yelling right now. Ooh. All right, so this is kind of heavy. This is a little bit of a galactic message. Uh, so Gaia, Earth is literally hemorrhaging energy right now. Like we already know this, but like that's how my that's how my guys are saying it to me. That Gaia is screaming right now. Gaia is screaming right now, um, and I don't think in a negative way. It's almost like like a. It's gonna sound so dramatic, but like kind of like a, a um a war cry. I don't know why that sounded so weird saying it like that. Kind of like a war cry. I feel like she's standing up for herself. She's calling, she's calling upon her planetary guardians to action. Wow. Okay. She's, <laughs> she's calling her planetary guardians to action. We're going to see more people wake up is also what I just heard. We're going to see a lot more waves come in. A lot more waves come in. We already have a lot of people, new people here on in the community. A lot of readers I know of like mentioned that, but she's literally screaming and calling for her planetary guardians to come into action. And missions and missions. I'm hearing missions. Wow. She's literally screaming a war cry right now. And a lot of us will be coming into our rites of passage in order to take our place in our missions in protecting Gaia and standing up for Gaia, continuing to raise the vibration of Gaia and the collective as well. And the more people that wake up, the, the more um, that vibration is going to rise. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> Anything else we need to be aware of with this energy shift? Okay, I think my guides are just being funny. I think my guides are just being funny. It's a good time to be an environmentalist, is what they just said. It's a good time to be an environmentalist. We're going to see a lot of, um, I mean, we've already been seeing that, like uh, little victories in environmentalism. But of course, the last few years, there's been a little bit of a hit to that, given certain political stuff. Won't get into that because I know it's channels into politics. I know some people get really, really triggered when I talk about politics. Anyway, moving on from that. Uh, there's going to be a huge boom as far as um, resources and money being poured into environmentalism. That's actually just what they're telling me. There's That field is going to be really, really highlighted at this time. Start to really be highlighted. Sorry, start to be really highlighted. They're correcting me. They like correcting me. Any other messages or anything else we need to be aware of regarding this energy shift? Anything else we need to be aware of regarding this energy shift? Any other messages regarding this energy shift? Anything else we need to be aware of regarding this energy shift? I'm hearing pay attention. Hold on. Another card came up. Hold on. Pay attention. What the hell? You guys hear that right? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it sounds like there's a bird in my apartment. Oh, that's freaking me out. It sounds so loud in here. I don't know if it's coming across on the camera or not. It sounds like it's within my apartment. I know it's not, but like, anyway, okay. So pay attention. I'm guessing that's just adding to the confirmation of that. Pay attention. I feel like it's to your own environment. Uh, to your own environment, also something about like the actual nature within your environment. We're probably going to see a lot more um, natural disaster stuff or a lot more storms. Um, yeah, it's it's almost like Gaia's way of trying to catch attention. There's We're going to have a lot more of that, a lot more of that. We've already seen some of it. We've had quite a few earthquakes <laughs> in the last week. I've talked about that this morning. We've had quite a few more earthquakes. There's going to be more of this kind of energy at play, and we're going to see that manifest into our 3D existence through nature. They're telling me through nature. Through nature. This is going to get interesting. All right. So now we have magic. Energy of 33. I love this card. This is literally belief. This is literally faith. Having the belief and faith in the esoteric, in the galactic, in the cosmos, in the divine, in spirit. Because at the end of the day, magic is real. That's the epitome of this card. I... 
<laughs> oh my god i'm sorry my guides are giving me such intense messages they said people will believe uh-oh whatever war cry guy has been well, I feel like Gaia's already been having these like war cries, but we're gonna, it's going to intensify is what they're telling me. It's going to intensify in some way, shape or form. This could even be through feminine energy. It doesn't have to just be through nature, but they're really emphasizing nature. But I'm also getting through feminine energy. There's gonna be more war cries and that will manifest in a very 3D way and people will believe. Wow, people will believe. Okay, this feels really intense. Like I said, this is the start of this kind of energy. So we're probably going to see it play out in the next few months, given that we are, we just started the eclipse energy, which goes on for about six months. Okay. What other messages do we have for this energy shift? And projects that are started right now. There's so many projects that are started right now geared towards environmentalism will be very pivotal in the next few months. as the very loud, very, you know, toxic spewing car starts up. Anyway, overall energy, we have the Time Master. Ooh, I love this card too. 57, that breaks down to a three. Three, three, three. Threes can be very significant at this time. Uh, sorry, that car always really annoys me. Okay, all right. Overall, the Time Master, this is literally the card of timelines, okay? We, we are at that pivotal point where we're shifting into a new timeline, shifting further and further into the foundations of new earth and what that will look like, what this new societal paradigm is, will look like as well, um, new perspectives, a new, um, a new consciousness really is what they're telling me. I mean, I guess that's, I guess you could phrase it that way. I feel like there is a splitting going on here, though, of people who will ascend onto this timeline and people who won't, okay? We're going to probably also be experiencing a lot of timeline jumping, uh, I know I've been experiencing that for the last couple of weeks, so the collective will probably catch up. I've noticed that with light workers, um, that uh, sometimes light workers actually experience things before the collective does. Just get prepared for uh, just get prepared for timeline jumping, seeing alternate timelines or even future timelines. Just be prepared for that because that usually tends to happen when we have a big split happening. Okay, and I'm feeling a big split of timeline jumping happening, and it it could even be. Gaia as well, jumping on a new timeline to jump on a new frequency to the ascended earth versus an apocalyptic version, not to sound dramatic. Yeah, timelines. Timelines are at play here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so let's get into this energy a little bit more. I'm kind of curious to see what other messages we get out here. This is like very cosmic, galactic themes we have going on, but we sometimes when I pull tarot cards, even within a reading like this, we can get very three-dimensional stuff coming through. So let's see what we got here. Let's look at Beauty Way. I feel like that's the rite of passage coming through. The rite of passage coming out and the war cries. It's interesting it's coming up as Beauty Way, but that's what I'm getting intuitively with that. But let's look into it. I'm going to use crystal for this one. It's all about Beauty Way. Tell me about beauty way for this energy shift. What is that? I'm not used to hearing that sound. It's making me crazy. Tell me about beauty way. Sorry, I'm very sensitive to noise. <laughs> Tell me about beauty way for this energy shift. Tell me about beauty way. Oh, I just realized. And by the way, the card underneath, uh, the Time Master, the Ancient Ones, the Ascended Masters, the Royals, for those who follow um, Galactic Beings, for all this timeline jumping. Also indicative of Ascensions and the energy I was talking about. I didn't. Even, I seriously didn't even notice it till just now. Okay, tell me about Beauty Way. Tell me about Beauty Way. Regarding this energy shift. Don't mind Clyde making all that noise. Tell me about Beauty Way. Tell me about Beauty Way regarding this energy shift. Let's see what we got here. 
<laughs> Two of Swords in reverse. Moon and Libra energy with the Ace of Swords in reverse. This is about decisions and decision making. Ace of Swords in reverse sometimes can be, it can be illusions, confusions, lack of the truth, lack of clarity. Sometimes when we get cards in reverse, it can also be an amplification of the energy. This could be massive intuitive downloads and intuition coming online. Yeah, especially the, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Two of Swords in reverse. Uh, Two of Swords in reverse is clarity it is seeing the light and, and not being confused and seeing the way yeah i feel like truth is going to come online really quickly or again people are going to be waking up really quickly there's just going to be seeing your truth and seeing your path onto your mission it feels sudden it feels really fast it doesn't feel slow at all tell me more about beauty way Yeah, that's pretty sudden. Tell me about Beauty Way. We got another card out here. Tell me about Beauty Way regarding this energy shift. This is like, yeah, wow. Holy shit. Okay. Now we have Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Overall energy, we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's the clarity. King of Swords with justice and the eight of cups oh my god <laughs> yeah this is having sudden clarity and drive and passion to go for whatever it is that you're being called to do okay now let's get into the clarifiers a little bit because i know i just showed them to you really fast so we have two of swords in a verse ace of swords in a verse ten of swords in a verse Ace of Pentacles in reverse and Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is having the clarity to no longer waste time on things that don't serve you, things that are not a part of your path, things that are a waste of your time, your resources, things that only bring you instability, and things that really haven't worked out in your favor. This is not pursuing those things anymore and making sure that you don't go down the wrong path anymore. I'm also hearing a timeline jump. This is crazy. Because now you have the clarity of what really is in your best interest and what's really and what you're really entitled to, what you deserve to have, and you're gonna go for it with this Eight of Cups. King of Swords is very clear. King of Swords ain't confused about anything. Some of you might have felt confused for a while. Last month is actually what I'm hearing. That's where they came on really strong. The last month, some of you guys might have felt really, really confused, um, really lacking a lot of confidence, really not sure what to do. Maybe some of you felt even a little bit aimless. Um, either way, it's almost like a wake up call. Sudden, like you wake up the next day and like you're just different. You just know that whatever it is you've been doing, you ain't going to be doing it anymore. This is also going to be happening on a societal level over time. But this feels quick on an individual level. And you're leaving instability and confusion and the wrong path behind. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's get into Earth Keeper. <laughs> this is the mission. <laughs> this is the mission. War cries of Gaia. Gaia standing up for herself. Wow. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, let's do Legacy. Talking about the Earth Keeper. Feeling strong feminine energy off this card. Strong feminine energy. And it's interesting because when it came up the King of Swords, that's masculine, right? For some of you, you can even equate it to masculine energy waking up. It's not necessarily... And I, they wanted me to say it like that, but like... Why do I disagree? <laughs> My guides hate when I do that, but like, you know, we're, we're all human. We do that with our guides sometimes. That's how they wanted me to say it for masculine energies to be waking up. I know that's only for some of you to resonate with, in all honesty. Like, I, I know what they want me to do, but like, now I'm like, God, I'm wanting to be stubborn about this a little bit. Uh, masculine energy is going through a transformation right now. OK, and like I said, we have new waves coming in all the time on a societal level, on a collective level. Masculine energy is going through a major transformation, a major death process and will be reborn um, over time. This is happening on an individual level to eventually manifest in a very 3D societal way on a global scale. OK, that can be in the form of patriarchy. That can be in the form of government. Society take your pick. Take your pick, but it happens at the individual level first. So some of you will be experiencing this even in, in yourself because it happens on the individual level. And then you'll be seeing it in the people around you where, yes, some masculine energies might be 
waking up, but really it's, it's going through a major breakdown to go through a major healing process to basically become balanced, ascended, and healthy. So that's why I had a problem with that. Anyway. Keep going. Talking about Earth Keeper. I was like, waking up. Mm. Talking about Earth Keeper. But that's what they told me. Talking about Earth Keeper. Talking about Earth Keeper. For this energy shift. Like, basically, toxic masculinity is being beaten out of us right now. Out of everybody, not just men, but everybody. Talking about Earth Keeper and anything that manifests from toxic masculinity and that whole pathology. Talking about Earth Keeper. Mm, what did I say? Nine of Cups. I love this card. Piscean Energy. This is, excuse me. This is wish fulfillment. This is being incredibly content and being incredibly happy. This is having your dreams come true, okay? It's also having a little bit of excess, having more than what's necessary, but I love that it's coming out with Earth Keeper because that is representing our missions on an individual level and also on a galactic scale of things that planetary guardians are basically being called by Gaia to finally step into their mission and to step into their path, which is also honestly their dreams because that's what they were born to do. That's what they came here to do. Um, but I love this. I love this. It's beautiful. See what else. See what else we got. And it's interesting. I just noticed the nines. 18 breaking down to a nine. Nine, nine. Indicative of completions. Tell you about the Earth Keeper. Regarding this energy shift. Ooh, it's a lot of cards. Ooh. <laughs> I, I, I love this because it's literally people just waking up to being like, oh, I've been doing the wrong thing this whole time. Justice in reverse, Libra energy, star in reverse, Aquarian energy, eight of pentacles, Virgo, four of wands, Aries, knight of swords, Gemini, could also be air or fire. This is the epitome of being like, why haven't my dreams come true? Why haven't I found happiness? Because, oh, I've been pursuing the wrong thing. I've been doing myself an injustice. Let me invest in the correct foundation. Let me invest in the correct path for myself and being honest with myself to finally become happy. Being happy just means you follow what your soul is telling you to do. That like That's the quickest way to happiness. Doing what your soul is begging you to do. That is the quickest way to happiness. Now on a galactic scale of things, it's basically bringing to light the injustices of the manifestations of toxic, toxic masculinity and what that's done to Gaia and what that's done to the collective on a societal level, okay? I'm definitely getting that with the Four of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. To me, that's just screaming patriarchy, like money-associated foundations, uh, governmental associate institutions, I'm hearing institutions, and the havoc that that's wrought, really. Yeah, and how it's been in actually impeding the collective from ascending. Let's keep going. Talking about the Earth Keeper. Some of you are about to go into a whole different career field. Talking about the Earth Keeper. Some of you are literally going to wake up and just have that light bulb moment of, oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to do. Maybe after months of not knowing, maybe for even a couple of you, maybe after years of not really being sure, you're going to wake up and go, oh, got it. I can do that. So I'm an earth keeper. Ace of Pentacles, the correct path, the path that will lead to stability, the path that will lead to abundance after you leave the path that is only leading to instability here and to only taking from you, not giving to you and not giving back to Gaia either. Oh, beautiful. Overall energy, wheel of fortune, Jupiter energy, the wheels of change, also divine timing at play. But this is fortune. This is abundance, luck. It's I'm hearing the wheels of change is how they're saying it to me. It's time for change. It's also the energy of 10, the 9 to the 10, closing out those cycles, closing out the cycle of toxic masculinity. Again, this is energy that's going to be with us for quite some time, next six months or so. This is just the beginning of this. And we'll start to see it manifest over time. The way time works here on the 3D, 3D plane on, you know, you know, it, in our existence is very slow. 
<laughs> I hate to say it like that, but once I really experienced that on a personal level, I was like, oh my God, time here is so retarded. I know some of you have heard me say that before, but it's so true. Time here moves really slow. So while this energy is happening now, we're not going to see the results of that on a societal level for quite some time. Okay, but it starts now. Now let's look at magic. They will believe. I like that. That message gives me the chills. That message really gives me the chills. Uh, okay, but let's look at it. Mm, I want a really fancy deck for this one for some reason. Um, oh, no. Oh, yeah, we'll do spellcasters. That's kind of a magical deck. Okay. Everyone plays a part, what I just heard. Everyone plays a part, everyone has a hand. Tell me about magic. Tell me about magic regarding this energy shift. 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 Tell me about magic regarding this. Some of you are asking me questions. <laughs> some, some of you are asking me how is toxic masculinity being handled? It's remember that squeezing I was talking about? It's literally being squeezed out of. <laughs> out of us on an individual level by bringing it all to the surface that's why some people are acting really extra douchey right now again also seeing that on the political plane anyway keeping going clyde clyde i know stop thank you sorry talking about magic talking about magic regarding this energy shift Tell me about magic. So I'm just getting this intuitively with the squeezing <laughs> a toxic masculinity up to the surface, like a really horrible pimple. Um, I'll be honest, guys, we're going to see that that toxicity get worse before it gets better. OK, wow. Page of swords in reverse. Damn it. Sorry. Hold on. Clyde, Clyde. He's trying so hard to get my attention. Clyde, thank you. Page of Swords in Reverse, lies and illusion. What did I say? This whole card's about belief. They will believe. They'll believe. Um, whoa. Whoa, sorry. Too many downloads. Breaking through programming. Let's start there. Breaking through programming, seeing through the matrix, unplugging from the matrix. People will start believing uh, and, and getting out of that illusion and lies that they were programmed to believe in the first place. Also start seeing everything that was denied before. Is what that was what I just been told? Seeing everything, everything that was denied before. For some, whatever the mask of ego was putting them in denial about. Others, what the program wouldn't allow them to believe. Uh oh, I got a lot of new waivers. You guys are asking me about programming. Um, oh, that's way too. That's way too big of a topic to do in this video. Um, I'm like, what's the easiest terms I can put this in? God, this is so not the best way to describe this, but I don't feel like I have adequate time to talk about it in this video. So if you've seen the movie The Matrix, I'm not saying the movies are real, but there are some concepts within that series that can hold true. Like, for example, the programming that a lot of us have within The Matrix to keep us in The Matrix, right? We actually do have that programming embedded within us to keep us from ascending, to keep us from seeing, to keep us from believing, to be, keep us trapped in the matrix in 3D ways of being. Very, 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 very overly simplified way of talking about it. There are videos on it. I encourage you to watch it. I might do a video on it. Okay, let me keep going. I know that was, I get, <laughs> I get hear some of my old timers like that was not, I'm like, I know that was not the best way to describe that. I just, I don't have time in this video to talk about it just now. Tell me about magic. Tell me about magic. Tell me about magic. 
Three of Swords in Reverse, Libra Energy, Healing. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, people are going to be waking, like, yes, like I said, there's going to be a lot of people waking up even more now, but the more waves that get onto their mission and stop resisting all of their mission and fully embrace it without fear, because I had this conversation with my patrons the other day, the faster people will be waking up and coming out of this very painful illusion of the matrix, okay? And painful illusion of programming. And to become a line, two of cups, I love this. Cancerian energy, this could also indicate soulmate energy as well, but it's also the energy of alignment. Do you see their robes? The, the blue with the red, it's like very yin yang energy, very much like the lovers just on a more subdued level, but becoming aligned as a result of that as a result of that. Um, on a very 3D superficial level, um, waking up and pursuing your dreams, right? After you've, um, oh, sorry, I was getting stuff. Sorry, I was getting stuff. Waking up, pursuing your dreams, and people around you will start having more respect for you. They'll actually see you for who you really are, right? And they're gonna see your soul, essentially, because you're not holding back anymore. You're not hiding that part of you anymore. You're not hiding that behind fear. You're basically just living your life and being free because you've woken up to who you are and what you're supposed to be doing, okay? Okay. Keep going. Tell me more about magic. Tell me more about magic. Yeah, and they're also to saying other people with masks. Um, other people who have that really thick mask of ego that have kept them from also um, seeing your true essence, they're also going to start seeing that because they're waking up too. Tell me more about magic. God, this is going to be a crazy year. Over energy, waking up. <laughs> Moon in reverse, spicy and energy. Could also be can't see in for me as a reader. Full on clarity, waking up. Full on clarity, not to mention full moon eclipse, right? That's going to be with us for the next six months. Full moon in cancer <laughs> as well. Yeah, this is awesome. This is beautiful. I'm freaking loving this. Guys, this is going to be a really amazing year. This is going to be a really amazing time. Just don't resist anything. Go with the flow. If you're, I'm, And the shadow video is almost done. I'm almost done editing it. Um, I think there's a lot of little, little nuggets of advice in there that could really help any of you who resonate with this reading. I think all of you resonate with this reading, if I'm being totally honest. There's a lot of messages in here about collective and not just superficial 3d stuff of what's happening and i know a lot of us have been feeling this um but just roll with it don't resist anything that comes up for you emotionally don't fight it and it will be so freaking rewarding my god so rewarding okay Oh, all right, guys, I'm going to go. I hope you guys found that insightful and helpful. Don't forget to check out Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram, and I will see you guys very soon. Have a really great night and a really great next year, next year six months. You're going to see me well before then, trust me. I'll see you later. Namaste.